Please let me be one of them. Go ahead, talk to the others. Let me be one of them, Lord. If you are visiting two people here today, let me be one of them. Let me be one of them. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Almighty God. The all-sufficient God. The one who can do the impossible. We worship you. Today, do something new. For all this, your children, do something miraculous. Do something powerful. Meet all their needs. Put an end to all their sorrows. Let their joy be full. Every prayer they pray on this ground today. Before the sun sets. Let it become a testimony. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Well, let somebody shout another hallelujah. And then I want you to shake hands with one or two people. And tell him, oh, huh? my time has come at last. My time has come at last. And then you may please be seated. I thank the Almighty God for bringing me here today. One of your sons. One of our pastors. Ajaya Adenina, one of our pastors. Begging me, come to Esauke, come to Esauke. And I kept on promising him, I will come. But at last, the fullness of time has come. And we are here today. And I am sure. That there is somebody here today who has been believing God for a miracle. You will get it today. In the next five minutes or so that I'll be talking to you, you will get your breakthrough. There's a story in the Bible. You'll find it in Luke chapter 13. From verse 11 to 17. Luke 13, 11 to 17. It's about the story of a woman. The Bible says she was bent double. No matter how she tried, she couldn't walk up straight. And she had been like that for 18 years. But one day, her, the fullness of time for her came. The doctors have tried their best. But they couldn't lose her. Because the rope binding her is not the one that could be seen by physical eye. But one day, Jesus came to town. There was a crowd in the town. But it was she that Jesus saw. And I know Jesus will see somebody here today. Jesus didn't pray for her. He didn't lay hands on her. 
He just spoke a word. Oh God, so kiki orakan. I said, O si bipe, woman, obirin, thou art loose. Atu asile. And immediately, no ju ese. The rope binding her. O kun ta fi de was loosed. O tu destroyed. Aparun. That's why I can tell somebody here today. He did it with his friend the canny loni. That unseen rope binding your hand. Oh, could you only for you to the oil? That is not allowing you to prosper. Tio, Jaco, Sherry. That unseen rope binding your leg. I will could you the last that didn't let you make progress. Tio, Jaco, Nita, see what you that unseen rope binding your womb. I all quite in it all day lay a more that has not allowed you to be fruitful. Tio, Jaco, say so. That unseen rope that is binding your brain. Oh, kun Irene, it all the aqua or that is not allowing you to succeed. Yo, the coach, I see your they will all be destroyed today. Go, go on, yo, Paroloni. As soon as the rope was destroyed, get that yak, Paukun, the woman became healed. I'm moving on, Larada. And so I'm going to prophesy to someone here. That sickness. That disease. That even the doctor said there's nothing we can do about it. It won't follow you out of here. And immediately the roof was cut. The woman straightened up. Her head went up higher. The one who had been bending double for 18 years suddenly was walking straight. In the name of the one who sent me, whatever body had been bending your head down, that body that didn't allow you to walk with your head straight is gone today. Everything that has been pressing you down that didn't allow you to rise will be gone today. Now, the, the, the problem of this woman What's a kind of problem that cannot be hidden? It's not a, a problem you can cover with uh, dress. Uh, it doesn't matter what you are wearing. When you are bent, people and, will see you are bent. And when people want to talk about her, they, they describe her by the fact that she was bent. There is this problem in her life that I'm sure will be allowing people to say, where is your God? But the day Jesus came to town, that reproach disappeared. Because God has asked us to come to Esauke today. That reproach in your life will disappear. Now, if you read the story to the <laughs> end, the Bible says, <laughs> by the time Jesus set this woman free, <laughs> there were some people who were complaining. <laughs> How can you set this woman free on Sabbath day? <laughs> Jesus Christ spoke to them. <laughs> I've set her free. You can do what you like. <laughs> the Bible says, <laughs> These people who were not happy because this woman was free were ashamed. I decree in the name above all names all those who are against your joy they shall be put to shame. And the one that I like the most is that from that day onward, the story of this woman became a testimony. People began to say, 
That was the woman who used to be bent. Now she's walking straight. That was the woman that we thought would die in sorrow. Today is rejoicing every day. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the coming year. When people are talking about you. Your story will be a testimony. They will be saying, ah, We know this fellow. We thought he was going to die in poverty. Now he has built a house. Ah, we know this woman. We thought she was going to die barren. Now she's the mother of twins. Ah, we know that brother. We thought he would die a messenger. Now he's a manager. I decree to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your case will become a testimony. There's only one point in this story that I need to ask you to think about. There was a crowd in the town. Only this woman got a miracle. Whenever we have a gathering like this, we always ask the question, uh, who is the fellow that Jesus has come for? Everybody will say, oh, it's me, it's me. But the question is, how do we know? If you are a child of God, truly born again, ah, there's no doubt about it. There's no way Jesus can come to town and pass through by. But if you are not one of his children, if you are still living in sin, you are not yet genuinely born again, even if you ask him, he will tell you, I cannot give the, the bread of children to dogs. He, he, he will tell you a miracle belongs to his children. So today, if you want to be partakers of what God has brought to us, out here, if you want your story to become like the story of this woman, in whose life everything became new, sickness changed to health, reproach became a testimony, uh, the head that had been bowed became lifted up. If you want everything to become new for you, the first thing you must do is that you must give your life to Jesus So if you want to surrender your life to Jesus, I'm going to count from 1 to 10. Before I say 10, come and stand before me so I can pray for your salvation. If you don't come by the time I say 10, I, I will know you don't want to come. And I would have done my job. And I have to go to the next station. So I'm going to come from 1 to 10. If you want to give your life to Jesus, come before I say 10. I'm counting now. 1. Okay. 2. Three. Four. Five. I know. Six. F Seven. 
seven. Hey, yeah. Eight. Hey, yo. Nine. Now, those of you already in front, and those who are yet coming, talk to Jesus now. Tell him, I mean business. I am very serious today. I've come to surrender my life to you. Please save my soul. Forgive my sins. I want to be a child of God. Please save my soul. And I will serve you for the rest of my life. And the rest of us, let's stretch our hands towards it, our new brothers and sisters. And it has sit for them for one minute. And pray that the one who saved our souls. We saved their own souls also. Pray for them that God will give them genuine salvation. Please intercede for them. And if anybody still wants to come, come now. Because I must pray for salvation now. This is your fullness of time. Come, come quickly. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, I want to thank you for your word. And I thank you for these people that have come forward to surrender their lives to you. Father, please receive them. Forgive them. Save their souls. Let your blood wash away their sins. Father, Baba, this very day, write their names in the book of life. Let them become members of your family. And from now on, anytime they call on you, answer them by fire. And don't let them ever backslide. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now, those of you in front, let me hear you shout hallelujah. I rejoice with you. From now on, I'll be praying for you. And so I'm going to need your name, your address, and your prayer request. The counselors will give you a card each that you are going to feel and then you give it back to them so I know how to pray for you. Now, for the rest of us, I want to pray for you now. I want you to stand on your feet and shout a big hallelujah. My Father, my God, I thank you for sending me to this town today. And on your behalf, I am now decreeing concerning this your children. Every one of you, it shall be well with you. You will enter the new year with joy. You will spend the new year with joy. Everywhere you turn, Doors will be open unto you. Everywhere you go, you will find favor with God. You will find favor with men. God will protect you. He will defend you. He will fight your battles for you. He will promote you. He will lift up your head. Your is okay. It would dissolve all your reproaches. From now on, whatever you touch will prosper. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the enemy will not be able to touch you. And 
Every prayer you pray now on this ground before the sun sets it shall become a testimony. And you too, you will serve the Lord. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Now, I want you to lift your voice to him. Because I told him that whatever you ask now, he will give it to you. And, and tell him exactly what you want. And say, Father, today is my day. Please give me this special miracle. And then tell him what you want. Open your mouth and cry Open your mouth and cry to him. Let's go, Pastor.